Let's take a look at an option strategy referred to as a box spread. Now, the box spread, or the long box, is a common arbitrage strategy that involves buying a bull spread together with the corresponding bear spread. And both spreads are going to have the same strike prices and expiration dates. And you're going to use the long box when the spreads are underpriced in relation to their expiration values. Now we sometimes refer to this as a delta neutral strategy because you're neither bearish nor bullish. You're just basically trying to lock in your profits. What's the cost of the bull spread and the bear spread or the actual box spread? Well the cost of the bull spread is the cost of the option that the call option that you purchase with exercise price of X1 minus the cost of the call option that you write with exercise price of X2 where X2 is greater than X1. And then the bear spread is the price of the put option with exercise price of X2, that's the one you purchase, minus the one that you write which is the put option with exercise price of X1. So the expiration value of the box is the higher strike price minus the lower strike price. And the risk-free profit equals the present value of the expiration value of the box minus the net premium paid. Therefore, the net premium paid should equal the present value of the, the, the present value, the expected value of, of the box for an arbitrage opportunity to be eliminated. So let's take a look at an example. Suppose you have a July 40 put that sells for $1.50, a July 50 put sells for $6. So if you wanted to create a bear spread there, you would buy the 50 put and write the 40 put. So the cost would be $4.50. Let's also assume that the July 40 call costs 6 and the July 50 call cost a dollar, so the cost of the bull spread here is five dollars. So the cost of the box is the cost of the bull spread plus the cost of the bear spread, so it's nine dollars and fifty cents. So graphically, let's see what this looks like. You have a bull spread here, you have a bear spread here, the cost of the bull spread is five dollars, the cost of the bear spread is 450 and it turns out that it doesn't matter what the price is you wind up making ten dollars excluding you know the the value of the position is ten dollars at expiration for example suppose the price is up is fifty or above if it's fifty or above then this is the case where the bear spread just expires worthless but the bull spread is worth 10 because you're buying the stock at 40. Okay, then once you hit 50, you're losing a dollar for every dollar that you've um, that it goes above 50 for the option that you wrote. So you make 10, or the value of this position is 10. In the case of the bear spread, it's worth nothing, so the value of the position is 10. What if the price is below 40? Well, if the price is below 40, then this is going to be the case where you have the um, bull spread is worth nothing because the 40 call and the 50 call aren't worth anything. But this is the case where the bear spread, the 50 put that you wrote, keeps going up in value and you keep making a dollar for every dollar it falls below 50 until you hit 40 at which case the put that you wrote causes you to lose a dollar so it flattens out so you make 10. If it's the case that it's let's say 45 what happens here? Well you'll make five dollars on your bear spread position right you're selling at 50 you're buying at 45 you're also making five from your bull spread position buy at 40, sell at 45, so 5 plus 5 is 10. So it turns out that you make 10 regardless of what happens. So is there an arbitrage opportunity? 
Well, suppose the interest rate is 1% for the period. Then the present value of these two, um, of the value of the box at expiration, 50 minus 40, is going to be $9.90. But you're only paying $9.50 for this position. So there actually is an arbitrage opportunity. The problem here is is that generally you're making a very small profit and transactions costs are going to eliminate probably most of these profits, perhaps all of them. So it doesn't have to be priced exactly at $9.50 because there may be no arbitrage opportunity even though it's the case that you can um, make a little bit of money because with the transactions cost that's going to wipe out your profit. So you're going to use this long box position when the price, when the um, value of the box, or the price of the box is less than the present value of what the value of the position is worth at expiration, which is the difference between the high and the low exercise price, the present value of that. You would short the box when it's the case where it's overpriced. So if this were the case that this box sold for, or this box cost $10.50, then this would be the case where you would short the box.